It's all about the little touches. Make it look the best you can. Thought that door was a different color for years. Turns out it was just really dirty. Another awning accident. She's a little twisted. Patch it up the best you can. Nice and sturdy. Probably stronger than it ever was. I love this little uh, Harbor Freight electric power washer. Best thing I ever bought. It was uh, 80 bucks. I paid 20 for a year warranty, so at the end of it, just take it back, get a new one. I can't stop using it. I'm addicted. Finally, I've owned. Uh, a box of these LED clearance lights for uh, probably a couple of years now. Finally had a chance to get them in there. Wait till you see when it's dark. Makes a real difference. I don't think they ever worked. All, all of them maybe worked, you know, when I first got this, but I always had to get up there and whack them with a broom handle. They had the old style bulbs in them. With these LED ones, man, what a difference. Took apart the taillights, the originals, cleaned them all up, cleaned all the grounds and the connections, got everything working nice and bright. Reverse lights even work.
Got another Turbo 400 in there. There is it? There it is. Oh. Broken dreams. After uh, removing the slightly tired Turbo 400, I had it rebuilt. It's a sad story. Spent 500 bucks. The guy rebuilt it top to bottom, he said. But lasted 100 miles. Lost third gear. Drove it the rest of the way to the campground. Ended up just having first. Nothing else. No reverse. Nothing. Thousand dollars. Get it home. Yep. Thousand bucks. Used a medium duty wrecker. Towed me and the camper home. Three and a half hours. Away. And then. Uh, I found. Another Turbo 400. From somebody that I know. Out of a uh, 70s dump truck, square body, and uh, he only wanted $200 for it. I had to drive a little ways to get it, but I put it in right in the backyard. One ride so far. This, uh, runs and shifts. Unbelievable. Better than it ever did. Little patch on the roof. Little cleanup. Goes a long way. You know, window. You don't need no stinking window. Well, I removed the huge AC condenser that was mounted in front of the radiator because uh, the compressor don't work for the AC up there in the cab. But I just use the roof AC, you know, with the generator when I'm driving down the road anyway. So you don't need it. So chop that out of there. You got a huge transmission cooler. They said it was for the big rigs. Extra cooling. Got that mounted right up front. Lots of air pointing right at it. Got to redo the stripe. The whole box was like 20 bucks, I think. Not a lot of extras. Just simple little LEDs. These are LEDs for the interior lights, all the, you know, all the inside camper lights on the roof, um, the regular bulbs take up more power and they get hot and melt the little plastic covers, so a lot of guys are switching over to these, but I didn't really want that LED kind of new look. In the uh, the old, you know, retro style interior. So, just uh, in my opinion, it would ruin the, the vibe. So, I was able to find a soft white just for that application. So, pretty excited to uh, get those in there see how it is. <clears throat> 